Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. <clears throat> Excuse me. For you, Libra. Um, we see, first of all, there's a lot of moon energy. It really, really stands out up in this corner. So um, it feels like this is something very, very emotional um, or somebody's feeling very emotional. And it has to do with the card right in the middle. And that is about making up, okay? Making up with someone. And so um, this person and the their feelings are hidden from you at the moment. Um, I feel like this is someone from your past. The coffin is here. So this is something that did end. All right. It came to a, a complete ending. But I feel like uh, it, it, it was never really over between you two. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like the connection is still there. It has always been there. Um, I feel like uh, you just were unable to see it in the physical, but you felt it. And, and so as well uh, did they. So at the heart of this reading, we have the quantum leap and uh, we also have the tailor uh, who is in the reverse. Um, this quantum leap is also connecting to the mother over here, which is representing the moon. So um, keeping all those things in mind, <laughs> what this means, the quantum leap is, um, it's like um, a new approach or uh, I feel like in this case, it's it's more like courage to try a new approach. Um, this involves a change of thinking from an old way to a new way. This is about the courage to take action on something, to take action on something uh, that obviously has been bothering this person for some time, something they have been longing for with the moon, something maybe that represents or is enshrouded in mystery with these two moon cards here. One moment, I will be right back. My little dog wants up. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sorry about that. And so, yeah, it's like it's enshrouded in uh, in mystery. Now, the tailor uh, in the reverse um, can indicate that this person tried to create something at one time, but it didn't work. It didn't just didn't work out in the end. Um, it could be it could be that they because they can't let go of this energy um they may be trying to uh tr have been trying to get the courage to do something about it but it's like you know n nothing is working it's like going nowhere they're not seeing any results no ma no matter how hard they try you know and so what this card of the tailor uh, is saying when it's in this position is that this person needs to step back and find out what is causing uh, the imbalance in them, okay? Where is it coming from and address it because it's only then that they're going to begin to see progress, okay? So, um they may need to look beyond the surface of things in order to find uh, what they are looking for. Um, I feel like they need to look behind them with the two moons sitting over here. There's something that is hidden from them and uh, typically this would be behind them. Um, so uh, what is causing that imbalance in them? What is making them feel the way that they do? These are questions they need to ask themselves and they need to follow the thread back, okay? Until they find the source of those feelings.
this is about uh, here this is about having the courage to share something with you um, having the courage to fight for this relationship this is about a decision uh, to kind of wipe the slate clean and start again it is what they want they are looking at the details of it this person is in love with you I don't think they've ever stopped loving you we see it over here okay and look at over here um, here we have the love look at that but somebody got left out or pushed aside here okay and uh, now I feel this person is like they're, they're they're like in a preparation stage where they're trying to do something it's like nothing's getting off the ground why because there's something they're not seeing so they need to see this uh, there's something that that they're trying to they're trying to point this person in a direction to see something okay there's something they need to see in order to progress and it could be this it could be this old wound that is at the root this person could have been wounded because this uh, heart as you see is bandaged but it's still bleeding the swords fell out a long time ago the swords are not no longer in the heart but the heart is still uh, wounded the wound still bleeds and what it does is it causes all of this see the rain the raindrops on this card uh, indicates anxiety and worry the clouds indicate confusion well this is what that wounded heart is causing this person okay so they need to go back and find this old wound that is the source of uh, what they're feeling okay because their feelings are real it's just that what is causing it is the question they could be projecting the past onto uh, onto you like onto the relationship or the relationship that you had they could have been projecting that at the time that it happened and that wounded heart may have been responsible for this uh, decision to break up okay that wounded heart is dictating how they think and feel about things yeah so there's mystery surrounding somebody's story a story with regards to something it's like buying into somebody's story or not you know should they believe you or not there's mystery here surrounding a story um five of coins here um this uh, card is about uh, failure so they're they're worried about failure or I mean it could be the failure to understand or failure to see something having to do with someone's story and so the Knight of Cups so they want uh, they want to approach you but it's these things here that seem to be blocking them and holding them back uh, oh. <laughs> my dog just sneezed so sorry so yeah okay so up here we have them okay so they are looking or no one minute here this is you you're waiting to hear from this person you're waiting on this person this is you and they are trying to shed their light on something having to do with you oh my god look at it it's right here they this is them they've withdrawn they are looking this person this well this guy he faces the future so he wants to talk with her okay that's what he's trying to shed light on is she's ready willing and, and and wanting to talk to him or her whichever way this goes so this person 
this person wants to talk to her and she's actually waiting for this to happen so he wants to talk to her and he's very emotional about it and there's what's blocking him from actually making this move that he really needs to make is an old wound and he needs to find it so if he's watching <laughs> he or she then that's where you need to look at an old wound okay and that will explain why you felt what you did at the time and why you're feeling what you're feeling now and it will also uh, free you up and allow you to proceed okay so it's very important that you find that wound yeah because the cards go on to say up here the cards go on to say that uh, there's something that this person is not seeing okay there's something that they're not seeing um, when it comes to uh, this idea or this plan for this new beginning that they are struggling with so sorry for my telephone um, it's, so, um, and here they are. They want to come. You can clearly see uh, that they want to close the distance between you, that they want to talk to you, okay? But what is blocking them is their subconscious fears that are connected to this wound. And you're waiting for this person is what I see. One moment. Uh, again, I'm just going to uh, mute my telephone. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So, the hermit over here, and we see him over here. Um, and so, here, he's looking to the future. He wants to talk to her. She's waiting, actually, to hear from him. And um, he has these fears. Um this quantum leap is, is like trying a new approach or needing to or needing to approach something differently uh, it is uh, changing the way you think from an old way to a new way um, and so um, in order to do that they need to go back and look at the wound okay uh, this will help them to change uh, or or will actually just change the way they think and view uh, see something and so back to the hermit again he comes back into the picture and he's looking at this this the what's light what lights his lantern okay and so he's looking at the wish in there he's looking at the light uh, in there and um, he will do anything to get there anything he wants this new opportunity so badly there's something missing in his life he may have you know uh, he may have everything he needs when it comes to everything else but when it comes to love there's something missing and that something is you Libra um, this person really wants to be with you they really want to make up with you and I believe that when they get the courage and they are working on that okay when they get the courage um, you're going to uh, you're going to hear from them and and you're waiting on them it's like your hearts are connected okay it's like that it's like your hearts are connected And so we see that they are going through the process here. It is difficult because they have been badly wounded in the past. It's here. They're showing us the wound. They're showing us, uh, showing you, or telling you why. Why this is taking time or why this is happening. It's because of this. And it is something that they can no longer avoid looking at because that's what they've been doing. They've wrapped it up in a bandage and said, okay, well, that's it. 
That's it. I don't have to do any more. And so, you know, this is a consequence of that. And so uh, now they are going through this transition period and um, realizing that something needs to change, okay? Uh, they need to do something. And that something is to turn around and actually uh, look at where their real feelings, you know, where, the, where these feelings are really coming from where these feelings are really coming from. Once they do that, you're going to hear from them. And I think you're waiting. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.